Now that's like the best looking buffalo mac and cheese. Check that out. Check it out. Those are your nachos. That looks amazing. With, uh, what, what, what is it, pulled pork, mm-hmm. right? And then you got a chicken sandwich. Buff, yeah, buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken sandwich. I went basic. That looks like a good sandwich. <laughs> it's been a full year since I've been here. It's been like, this, like, I've had buffalo mac and cheese at so many other places, but very few... I think only one place in Orlando has ever come close to like this. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. The social house, that restaurant, the social house in Orlando is probably like as close as you can get to this. You might need to fix the lighting on some of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> is that camera still working out good? Oh yeah, this camera's amazing. Tell me, what are we doing out here today? We're at the old... Well, we're here for G-Fest, right? But it's Thursday, so G-Fest hasn't started yet. So we're actually at... Parkway Bank Park, the entertainment district of this village. It's a good way to kill time if you get to G-Fest a day early trying to figure out what to do on a Thursday. This is it. What are you most looking forward to about G-Fest? Just making more videos. This music's gonna get me, get this video taken down so fast. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see about it. You have me, Hi, Piercy. We are at Taste of Park Ridge. This is the annual kind of taste festival that goes on. They got free concerts, they got lots of food, they got beer and games and tons of other stuff. It's like a, it's like a good like, it's a good contrast to G-Fest actually. How close is the Taste of Park Ridge to the Pickwick Theater? Look, the Pickwick Theater is literally like right down there. I don't know how to zoom. <laughs> well, it's okay. Listen. All right. The Pickwick Theater is like way down there. You can see the store, the, the front, the marquee of the Pickwick Theater way down there. That's where they show the Godzilla movies. In fact, there's a Godzilla movie playing in that theater right now. You have to pick your poison. Go see a Godzilla movie or go see like 10 bands, 10 rock and roll bands for free. Why not both? Yeah, why not both? So does two tickets. Oh, you're getting it from here? Yeah. It's hot. Aren't you hot wearing your cardigan? I'm from Florida, so no. It's like 90 something degrees back home right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is kind of hot, but not like uncomfortably hot. It didn't stay cold for very long. 
know what I mean? Well, it's because the sun's out. It's still like just 75 degrees or something. How many tickets is that? Four. And with that, we ask you to help us uh, celebrate this auspicious occasion. And uh, our mayor, Marty Maloney, will do the ribbon cutting. Mayor Maloney, please. Hey, it worked at home. gonna be you said it's gonna rain but yeah, it's supposed it to rain. hasn't rained yet so it's also supposed to be hot and I'm not looking forward to it yeah anyway we're about to go to the hotel and get some breakfast and then we're gonna head to the Hyatt Regency and we're gonna go to G Fest I'm excited it's my first G Fest you're excited yeah first G Fest first one first one Be a 
It is incredibly packed today. It is very packed today. It's pretty insane, actually. This might be... This might be the best year yet. Here. There we go. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Get some footage in there. This might be the best year yet. A lot of people here. It is packed, so this is what, the second year at this hotel? Yeah, yeah, second year. Awesome. Fantastic. I already see, I already see people I recognize. Oh, nice. From, from past G-Fest. Yeah, so, it's been five years for me, so. JD is here again. We just walked past him. Yeah. Ask him how he was doing. Okay. I'm glad he's back. Yes. <laughs> oh. It won't be, it won't be a mess this year like it was last year. This is pretty incredible. This has to be the most populated like, attendance I've ever seen. Like, this line goes on forever. Yeah, does it? Actually, let's go check out. As you can see, GFest usually averages around 3,000 attendees. Yeah. But like, this looks like way more than 3,000. I'm thinking like 5,000. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> I like the costume. You look very nice. Okay. Oh my god. It's still going. <laughs> Where's Papa Kilo? He's way down there. Yeah. Oh, there he is. And we're back to Papa Kilo. <laughs> you got it already? For so long. Just about. I'm not gonna lie, this stuff is pretty epic. Camera killing Gauss 2014 2014 variants. I'd want to paint it pink. Remember that comic book store in Longwood? Yeah. They have like statues like this, but they're like ridiculously the expensive. Has, like, the Acme comic book store? Yeah. Yeah. I'd want to like get that and paint it pink. Yeah. Yeah. Is, are these painted? I think they're supposed to be. They're just not painted yet. Yeah. Like certain paints like mess up plastic. Some things they don't want photographed. But... Yeah. This is cool. This is like a destroyed train station right here. Oh, you can, they have stuff available for order. That's nice. I should go in the cinematic trash can and just put them right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be a mutated person. So that was actually a Christmas gift, but um, yeah, I've, I've been making all my videos exclusively on this camera. That's fantastic. And I have a Yeti, a Yeti microphone. Yes, I have a Yeti microphone, but here as you can see I have my old school HD Sony hand cam I brought with me. I mean it's easy to carry for like a vlog type video series like this. Oh, yeah. So it's way less bulky to fit in my pocket than I wanted it to. But yes, we are out here at G-Fest, so 
a lot of stuff doesn't open up till noon, so I've still got yeah. like an hour in like the game room. And um, I am stuff. glad that we have a chance to kind of sit down and relax for a little bit because yeah. the dealer's room is absolute chaos. Right, so <laughs> might as well just give it an hour to it. <laughs> I'm just like, let me just kind of... Yeah, like, we, we might as well explore, check things out, and, like, yeah. now we know the lay of the land, so when everyone who's been waiting at that line is like, oh, where do we go, where do we go? We, we know everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we're good to go. Like, there's some stuff downstairs. There's really not much on this floor outside of this section, and I don't think there's anything the floor above. No, I don't think so. But, you know, it's, it's, it's cool, though. I'll tell you this, I don't even think there's an Ultraman category this year. Sometimes there is, though. Oh, I feel at Ultraman. Yeah. yeah I only have Fox Turtle series. So, I, I've been yeah. defeated. But it's most heavily focused. It'd be Toho and, and Dai stuff, mostly. Okay. Yeah. And there's a lot of history, like 70 years. It's kind of insane to follow, like, yeah. the different stuff, yeah. different timelines. Like, We're in line for the dealer's room. It's going to be great. I'm, I'm expecting it to be pretty awesome, but also pretty... Okay. Oh, I know, because it's taken like, it opened up like an hour and a half ago. We haven't gotten in because it was just, the line was wrapped around the whole building. It's also going to be be loud in there, too. But, but amazing. I don't really collect figures anymore like I used to. You're going to. When you leave <laughs> you got to get at least one thing. I have to get I at least one thing. If I were to get anything, it's probably a movie, like something on Blu ray. They have some downstairs. Or maybe some books. Perhaps some trash. Yes. Is this what heaven is? <laughs> Are we in heaven or what? <laughs> You're so silly. Is trying to pick where to start because there's so many things you want to look at all at once. Exactly. Probably 1973, when my dad 
asked me if I wanted to watch Godzilla King of the Monsters on a show in Minneapolis called Horror Incorporated. So I had to stay up till midnight, watch this cool movie about a radioactive dinosaur with my brother and I, and I've been hooked ever since. Um, and soon after that, I got into collecting Super 8 monster movies. Um, as a matter of fact, I mean, uh, growing up, uh, my best friend and I, we would order Super 8 movies from like the back of Famous Monsters of Filmland, Ken Films, and we would do neighborhood uh, movie theaters. We'd pack a sheet up on the door and charge kids in the neighborhood a quarter to come in. And it was so much fun, and I've just been doing it my whole life, and I've grown up around this, and I just have a, a, a sincere love for anything kaiju, horror-related, film-related, and uh, G-Fest is one of the greatest places to come, because we're all family here, and hang out, meet new people, and, and then uh, uh, a few years ago, 10 years ago, I actually uh, had the opportunity to kind of take up my uh, my fandom notch and uh, I started a book series called Big in Japan. And Big in Japan is about rock stars that fight kaiju. And what's really cool about it is um, Akira Takarada, who passed away not too long ago, who's pretty much the godfather of the stars of these movies, it was so generous that he let me use his likeness in the books. So there's a character named Dr. Takarada in the books. And of course, when the character came to light, you think about him, but you know, you can't put it in there. But he gave us permission to use his likeness. And because, and this was kind of a coincidence, his uh, publicist, who, translator of who his office said, they think that he agreed to do it because the character in the book's name is Kiyoshi Takarada, and that was his father's name. And that was just a coincidence that that happened. So he loved the book, so he said, you, uh, you get into some of this stuff, you can really see the likeness. We went for the 60s era Takarada, and then Scott Field from Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah is part of it too. And It's been really fun to be part of this as not just a fan, but as a creator too. So it's, what a life, what a life. So, and we got the movies going here, and we're gonna do a panel showing eight millimeter movies. And it's, just, it's just a wonderful place, and you should be here. <laughs> Michiganian? Michigander. 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 Oh, okay. Michigander. You learn something new every day. That's right. At least the hotel's like nice and cool, but I'm still like, it is very hot for Illinois weather, so I'm not used to this thing. I can't, I can't handle the heat. It is so the dead weather. of summer. It is the dead so of summer. I expect it to be. And it was uh, quite the walk to get over here, so. But good thing you bring, I bring the over, so. That's the important thing. <laughs> so, but, uh, yes, it's going to be a fun day today. Now, after your films with the Godzilla franchise, did you two actually get to talk about Godzilla while you were with Sky High with Yuhei Kitamura? So, so not really, and actually, uh, she has the feeling that um, Kitamura probably actually doesn't like Godzilla all that much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and he was always saying his goal was to uh, 
basically uh, you know, uh, destroy all of the previous Godzilla films. <laughs> <laughs> and when she saw the film, uh, she thought, yep, uh, he, he demolished it. He messed it up. <laughs> Head. This looks like an orc from Lord of the Rings. No, literally from here on down, that's all gray. Like looking at the forms. Yeah. Yeah. One guy. Oh. I wouldn't be able to decide anyways. So. I do like that vampire though. I could make this video. Yeah. Right next year, I'm making a video. That's more accurate to the movie. Oh, there's nothing more. There's more stuff on the side. Now, this one right here is pretty clever. Is there a Mecha Kong? Like, is that a thing? Yeah. In King Kong, King Kong uh, Escapes, the interview we just watched, yeah. the one she's in has a uh, mechanic Kong. How does it? The more you know. Oh, that one's for sale, please. Breaking like all kinds of walls yeah, this right is here. Like, this is, I don't know, like how do you describe that? But this is YouTubeception right here. Yes. Oh, that's a lot of King is pretty fun. I think I'm gonna try and play some of it. But uh, you know what? I think it's time to play this game. Oh yeah. Ultra. Shit. Oh sweet. Is this multiplayer? Someone want me to record with their camera? It's still recording. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. I guess two players got Zola. Here we have JT is Reborn. I don't know and how to play this Cinematic game. Trash. Playing the Godzilla arcade game. Oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> well, kind of sucks. Like, I don't, I don't, there's no controls. You gotta do combos. You gotta do combos. Oh, wait, hang on. So, right here, it's got these controls listed. Yeah. Let's try it again. Oh, the, the way you move the joystick determines what kind oh, of. Oh, wait, hang on. So how was it? It's fun. Not if you're back on. Look at that, look at that. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, it's like... How do you switch characters? I kind of want, like, another Godzilla fight I'd see. I love looking at all the ages. And you'll see, like, a six year old. We had one in Godzilla vs. Kong. Oh, I know. That was, like, that to me was one of the most creative fights. Yeah. So, like, they took out the six from me and just... You ever watch Evangelion? Cinematic trash, everybody. I'm day here in the, the arcade area. We are in the arcade. It's day two. There's G some fest. fun stuff here. I got my ass handed to him by him on the, uh, yeah. the Godzilla the arcade thing. Yeah, I'm I, off the floor with Sean here. I couldn't hear, like, Megalon <laughs> sucks. Like, Megalon, like, you have a tail whip and you have way more, like, distance yeah. to cover. The, Megalon's just like. It's like, do something. Yeah. And the control is like, it's not clear cut. Just, like, just spam tail whip. You just spam the tail whip. That's what I did before, and I want. But yeah, I like. I just. I didn't know I chose Megalon, so I need. Yeah. I, I wish I knew what I was doing. Now we played Save the Earth. I win. But one thing I've noticed is that the pinball machine is gone. The, the pinball machine's not here anymore. But they do have that one over there, which um, is the Godzilla Wars. Uh, yeah. The one that was actually a lot of fun. You're just sitting there, you're just firing the guns. Fire! Fire! There's one where uh, these machines here. Your Godzilla, you catch them. Balls or something. Yeah. I don't know. Like, do you need coins or something for them? I don't know. I want. I want these machines in my own home. Like, cause you got Yen right there. One day. One, one day. day I'll get myself an arcade machine. Hopefully, it's a Godzilla machine. I myself got a handful of movies. Um, I'm not yet gonna share what movies I got just yet. I'm gonna save that for another video. But I have been loading up on on stuff, some good stuff. Right, that. right, right. And you're on a roll heavy with these things, like middle of the night. And I'll, I'll wake up like three in the morning, like, oh, hey, look what I'm. <laughs> three in the morning. Yeah, I watched that one at like three in the morning. Like, yeah. The editing videos, like, while tired is killer because editing is kind of tedious depending on what you're doing. Especially if you're someone like me who messes up while talking. Yep. The winging things is like really difficult. Now, when you record yourself, you have your digital camera. I I, I use I use this camera, but I stack it on top of stuff. Oh, right? okay. I stack it on top. And then you have the Yeti microphone that looks off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so that's great. That, that actually makes a huge difference. We we need Ryan here next time. So yeah, Ryan. What are you doing, Ryan? Yeah, Ryan. Ryan, what are you doing? Ryan. Ryan, get back here. Are <laughs> you guys bullying him? That's crazy. Hey, We're not. Ryan is busy making a movie. He's too busy now. Oh, well, don't say that. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Ryan, you got to make your way over here, right? Ryan from K Ryan from Kaiju Network. You got to come here next year. That's right. You got to you got to do it, man. Yes.
Believe it or not, they do, and there's a lot of reasons for that. I mean, a big part of it is definitely nostalgia. I think we all here grew up with VHS tapes. Um, Chief House, I want to come back next year. So hopefully, I can organize a little better and spend more money to uh, do more stuff. Because, hello, I like money. Today's been a great day. I actually like today better than yesterday. I'm going to be really honest. Today, all the panels were interesting, especially the Don Fly yeah. panel. That panel was especially funny. I got to check out the game room this time, which I didn't do yesterday. The game room was pretty cool, actually. I actually I got, did. I, I like that Godzilla shooter game. You have to shoot the damn thing. And I got a shit ton of merch, too. Where the real money of the movie is made. Oh, yeah. G Fest the t shirt. <laughs> G Fest the breakfast cereal. G Fest the flame there. Hey, there's G Fest the toilet paper, basically, yeah. which I bought. So. Perfect. Now you can wipe your ass with radioactive uh, nutrients. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Well, anyways, that's wrap for day two. See you in day three. Bye. Can I just say two? Well, he does have the yeah. cinematic <laughs> instrument. <laughs> look what Mason did to my buddy. Look what Mason did to Bradley. Because what it was? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so something I should mention, by the way. Oh, and away we go. Hello, peasants. How about that? <laughs> this this place reminds me of uh, where they filmed, um, what's that movie? Dread? Oh, right. They filmed that in Mississauga. I feel like I'm in the inside what of that robot the fourth dimension. I don't know. But it, 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 it gives off that vibe. You can fly, you can fight, and you can... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I built that uh, pan sword for uh, the hook review we did. You built it? Yeah. What's it made of? It's just a plastic sword. Cut the grip up and just replaced it co with a coconut, half a coconut. Half I, I, coconut. I bought a coconut, I cut it, I ate the coconut thing in it, and then just sanded it, painted it, there you go. It works. I like it. It's yeah. very well done. So. Well, I made, a, I made one that actually is made out of actual metal, too, now, so... That's one you use for the videos. This is yeah. Like a prop one. It's like a plastic one, so kids don't get hurt. Well, I gotta do the, the Doom thing. Long live the fighters! <laughs> also, by the way, I'm gonna fan me today. Holy shit. Oh, is that that one guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah! It may look like the old confrontation banners. Like That's really cool. Video. Oh, nice. Actually, you know what? One of my shirts I was gonna wear, this is actually vintage from the ride in Florida. This is a vintage shirt, a, like a 20-year-old shirt from yes. Confrontation. And in the back, it says Wix. Tapes and all that. But if you look at it, you can see why it's Confrontation, because it's got the Empire State Building with the cable, plus the left corner. Sweet. This is when the 76 came. This is pre-9-11. <laughs> so, look, 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 look. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's vintage. 20 bucks. Just outside, just a picture. 20 bucks? <laughs> We are here at G-Fest. That's right, day three. This is day three. The final day. 
I'm going home today for sure. Um, Big Jack Holmes may be going home Maybe, today or tomorrow. On how or Josh's energy levels are because it's just like we haven't slept. We're exhausted. I was so really tired. Like, sleep. Sleep. You have not slept last night, did you? No. You didn't sleep at all last you night. Crazy you crazy man. You crazy man. I don't know how he's functioning. I can't bring people back from the dead. It's not a pretty picture. <laughs> I don't like doing it! <laughs> yes, I gotta check out the dealer's room, pick up some more things. and. I, I haven't slept much myself, but... I will say that I did squeeze in a couple hours here and there. Yeah, I, I that's did, as good as it's gonna get. Last night, today, my stomach was just this morning. Was like, uh, it's like it's been like crap, like this whole trip. It's all yeah. this like traveling food. All this fried food that we're all eating. I, I had to actually I'll admit the uh, jalapeno uh, egg muffin at McDonald's. Is that true? Has your stomach been okay though? What? Has your stomach been okay though? It's been fine. It's fine. Those those tenders really took a toll on me. Like that, was, pizza, that pizza last night that pizza was, was so good. really good. We, we had this, like, like right by Galloping Ghost Arcade. I don't remember the name of it, but, like, we are trying to, like, go you guys to, like, that Chicago style pizza? No, it was, uh, it was, like, there. prosciutto and arugula pizza. Yeah. That was exquisite. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, that shit looks really good. Yeah, that shit's really good. Wow. And mozzarella. You know, like, it looks fancy. This on camera. It is fancy. There. Look at that. Look at that shit. Oh, that looks amazing. Right, because I didn't really like eat like the whole day. I mean, breakfast, but I had a protein shake today, like at the hotel, yeah. so they were selling them. So I'm like, yeah, I had my fuel. I didn't want to eat so early before we're all gonna have lunch. This so was I'm the like, highlight, though. They had the original arcade. I was a happy boy. That was the uh, the arcade. Yes, the Alpen Ghost. I'm, 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 I know I keep like advertising it, but that was one of the coolest places I've ever been to. Like walking and in there, it's like Willy Wonka's side. chocolate factory for video games. Yeah, yeah like, it's like walking in the dealer's room. Definitely, really definitely yeah, got to check, yeah. yeah. check it out. Yeah, Rambo Three. Definitely need to check it out. We have like an arcade in Orlando that I think is pretty cool. Yeah, we have an arcade but, uh, near the Orlando. Sim Sims. Like if you show up in cosplay, they give you a discount to get like get in for free. They have like cool murals all over. Go go to the Green Ranger. <laughs> yeah, like, Orlando with that heat. Jeez. Like, even like uh, in May, I was like sweating so much. Like, yeah, I can't imagine like walking around with that helmet. So, yeah. Come in like February, December, January time. Come in the winter time. That's, that's even better. Okay, I'll, like, here's the thing because I might come back in February or April because I, I stay with my dad in South Carolina. But if you're in Orlando, I'll, I'll swing by because the thing is that like, oh, might actually save me on like hotel fees. <laughs> right? But um, my buddy Bernard, who works at Universal, who does all my, all my music as well, uh, he works in the parks and he gets me in for free. So, yeah. hey, if you guys ever want to go, do you have any past Universal or like one of the As a UCF student, I get like discounts, but yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, like, I wish I could just go to Universal and go spend time on Skull Island or something. Right? I am so totally down. Skull Island, Jurassic Park. Yeah. I actually kind of like the Popeye ride. The Popeye ride's actually Popeye like, ride. Yeah, because you get like soap, <laughs> but it's like all Popeye themed. Yeah. yeah. Like, ugh, ugh, the hot Does he shoot his load of spinach in your face? He actually does spit in the ride, yeah. He actually does. Hey, spinners are quitters. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, um, can you repeat that? Squitters are quitters. It's just a fact. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Say Sean 2023. Yeah, we should, we should go. I, then I'll be able to get Universal. Just, I'll, I'll let you know when I'm in next yeah, time. I'm so so. Yeah. Sweet. All right, YouTube. This is it. We are actually in the Crown Plaza Hotel right now, which is where Shawnee Boy here stayed at. This is where G Fest used to be held. That's right. But I, I felt it was fitting to, uh, do our outro here right very nostalgic it, yes this is very nostalgic and this this is where g fest literally used to be right mm -hmm. here there used to be stuff going on that's right, right. that's where i got my little registration was right over here i saw yeah. god's a little walk up and down here the dealer's room was there and then various panels it's all starting to come back to me a little bit now yeah it's it's very nostalgic and it's very like it's very weird seeing this place kind of empty you know what i mean right it's like a ghost town over here um, yeah but a fun one, but a fun one. Like, what a wild weekend this was. Yes. Like, this was a very a very long weekend, a very tiring weekend, but one of the funnest weekends I've had for for, for a year. Yeah, I mean, yeah. same here. Um, Park Taste of Park Ridge was fun. I went yeah. to Galloping Ghosts. They had the screenings at G-Fest. You went to the 2014 one yeah, last yeah. night. Um, yes, I, did. I didn't get the chance to, but I did get to see the coolest arcade I've ever been to. So it's just yeah. there's just too much to do in so little time uh, with this convention. And, everything associated with it but yeah. I had a great time it was great seeing you in person um, yeah, it was awesome meeting you in person for the first time that's right it's great to see Jack again mm -hmm. it was great to participate in, in one of his 
his next videos. Right, that's which, right. Uh, oh, 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 sure. <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. We won't say yeah, what it yeah, is, we're though. We're not going to spoil that. But it should be uh, fun to see how it all yeah. like unfolds and all that. So, But uh, I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, this is goodbye. Thank you so much, sir. It's brother, a pleasure, brother. It was a pleasure, man. It was a pleasure. I guess I'll uh, see you With later. With that being said, everybody, this was G-Fest. This is day three. The convention is now over. Until next year, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, YouTube. My camera.